Alright, welcome back to Power Wash Simulator, and we're on the last level of Alice's Adventures, or as I like to call it, Washing Wonderland. The Queen of Hearts, the Wonderland Royal Palace. Why is it to be wonder that wherever I go, everybody suddenly loses their head? Me, I'm the reason. So I suggest you get to it at once, whatever it is, and be quick about it. As soon as we've apprehended this Alice Absconder, we'll be needing a quick and thorough trial. Okay, so we're getting only 300 for this, the same as the last level. The hat is tea party. But this feels like it's a lot larger. We definitely get ripped off on these. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but we've got the yeah croquet balls going through here. Where's the goal? Is there a goal? I don't know. There's a step ladder, uh, which you can put there. Where are we meant to get the croquet balls? I know I'm meant to be cleaning, but this this is more fun. Oh, this is a separate part. What are you? Something magic? Come on, chop chop. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, uh, we should just start cleaning, I think. We'll start with the door. We've wasted enough time. We can worry about playing batonk on our own. Or croquet. On our own terms later. You've barely done anything at all. I've literally just started, girl. Come on. How did we go from working from the Mad Hatter to working for the Queen? Honestly. Chop chop. Chop chop. Spray spray. More handle. There we go. Ah, the, there we go. There's the door. And this one. It's like the inside of the frame. Yeah, there we go. Good, and that's both the handles, and we've got the hinge, there we are. Them all out of the way. Let's do this entrance wall. Is the cap separate? No, it's all the same. But it is different around the corner. The heart decoration appears to all be the same piece as well. Good to get an idea of the boundaries of things. So we know when to expect something to be done. Like I was expecting it to be done right now, but it's not. So, am um, I going to have to do like underneath here? No? Ah, right, okay. It's actually hidden a little bit behind the ivy. That's awkward. So I just need to make sure I do a little bit of an overlap. Like that. And that should do it. That should make sure. This one's a bit taller. But standing back further. Thankfully everything's wonky still, so <laughs> you can still get the top of it. This lamp is in the most annoying spot. Let there be light. It's by cleaning the lamp we get a backstop on the wall. We should probably have started with it, to be honest. So yeah, we're just spraying a ton of stuff behind without even needing to worry about targeting it. I've got to do the top as well. Uh, if we stand up here. We just stand on the lamp actually is probably going to be the best way to finish that off. Especially for the rear side of it. There we go, good. What about the post? What's not clean on the post? Ah, a little bit down the bottom. There we go, good. And another one on the other side. I did wonder whether to leave finishing off this uh, DLC for another weekend instead of just rushing through everything, but I think on balance it's good just to finish something off before I move on to something else. I have far too many unfinished projects as it is. That's why I keep going back to Planet Crafter relentlessly for weeks on end. Slight break for the truck simulator events because they were limited time, but 
otherwise wanted to get that done. So Planet Crafter is now dribbling out on YouTube, but all the recording is done. I do need to make sure I do all the highlights though. I don't want to get to a point where because I'm only releasing it at a limited pace on YouTube that I forget to highlight something on Twitch. Oh, I can actually stand up on this railing bit, that's good. Didn't even need to jump on top of it this time, though probably would be useful. Yeah, for that last bit. <laughs> also a good angle for the tops of the statues here. Oh yeah, they're all chest themed, that's right. This is plenty of things to stand on. We will finish off this top area and then we might go back to playing croquet again. <laughs> finish off the entrance platform just to make sure that that's out of the way excellent I want everything with entrance in the name of it done essentially brickwork way back along here what is all this anyway just grime just non-specific grime I feel there should be some moss or something oh, it looks like there is down there no it's just mud and mud splats apparently should be some moss growing they did give us the pro washer after all so be no problem with giving us some more tenacious things to have to clean but then I guess you wouldn't really notice the difference it all just disappears anyway these I'll have to do from the outside presumably same with the rook statue the bishop could do mostly from here It'll just be yeah, the outside section perhaps yeah and we same on the other side, the other bishop will just need a bit of done, a bit done. On the outside corner. Oop, a bit too far. There we go. At least the platforming in this one is a bit more optional. There's the rook. This point, do they call it a rook or a castle? They do call it a rook. Yeah. So I know some people just call it a castle. I mean, a rook is a bird, so you know. <laughs> so, rooks and ravens. Well, that. Ooh, some decorations. Ooh, extra dings. I like it. Now, if only each of these wall stones were also separate dings, that would be fun. Need to paint, okay. Someone's been painting it. But these ones need to be painted. Go figure. It'd be nice if the wall was sectioned up. But at least we got the decoration dings, so that's something. Yeah, that's a start. We'll take what we can get. Or ding deprived washer. Spare ding, sir. Why does it look like the railing is melting? I, is it meant to be frosting? Maybe it's meant to be frosting. I haven't done the other side of it, I don't think at all. <laughs> Let alone the top. Oh, there's the Cheshire Cat, just chilling, just vibing. Floating in midair, as, as you do. As, as they do, anyway. Uh, 
entrance railing. I didn't finish that off. That's going to need to be done from the underside here, presumably. Yep, there we go. But I did get the bishop statue, so that's good. Gets that out of the way. That didn't let me jump for some reason. Okay, yeah, I did not do this side of the railing at all. A very steep bridge. This is not very accessible. Still missing something on the railing. I'm gonna guess that it's the insides of the bits that are kind of hanging down. Poles. We're getting a little bit of the bit around the behind of them sprayed as we do them. Nice and clean. It almost looks pink, but it's not. It's is it pink or is it white or is it is it both? I think it might be both. <laughs> it's some sort of weird marbling. Get a bit of a better angle standing up on. Yeah, good. That's the stairs done bridge floor. Good, it's not just bridge where it's like the same with the underneath and on top. The floor is separate. I, I appreciate that. There's the rook. That was actually quite generous. Probably didn't expect me to do the inside. What about the railing there? Good. And garden wall just continues on. Bridge railing. We'll do what we can see on this side. And yeah, there's the the back sides of these bits here. Oops. Yep, still not enough. Okay. Um well I don't know what's left on the bridge railing. I thought that that was gonna do it. Is there just some angle of the uprights that I haven't Ah oh. Because it's kind of melting down onto the ground. That was the bit. I probably didn't need to do the bits in behind in that case. Just needed to do the obvious bits that I was standing on. Would have been useful. Uh, knight statue is almost done. Oh, just a bit on the top. Just clean between the ears. Good. Alright, let's do this melty bit first on this one, and then we'll see how much we need to do with the rest. Uh, though there is more that I haven't yet done on the outside of this here anyway. And the bridge arch appears to be the whole piece underneath. We need to go underneath for that anyway. Move your way down. And while we're at it, yep, there we go. Get the railing done. Uh, we should be able to just crouch and not go prone. Excellent. Garden floor. You know, you'd think it would be grass, but apparently not. Now, these things are going to be annoying to do the undersides of. Garden arch. 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 Okay. There's, there isn't a goal. I, I forget the rules of Kuroke. But let's just go. I'm going to assume that I can shoot these. Can. can I actually get them through something? Oh, that's the Cheshire Cat disappearing. I think if you get too close to him, he just pisses off. I don't know if he comes back again or not. Whee! Okay, I found a new game to play. And, and yeah, is there a, a specific goal? They're all just archers, aren't they? Anyway, let's let's move on, shall we? Do you know what? We could always put them 
up here or something. We'll do this path. The, the blue ball's gone a little bit too far away. But the pink one we can maybe send in this way. Is there like a face on it or something? Kind of. That's disturbing. Uh, step ladder can go up there or something, just get it out of the way. So that we can clean underneath it. Oh, good, the garden path is sectioned up. That's nice. Playing cards. I do like the psychedelic backing to the playing cards. Interesting that the rose decoration is a distinct decoration, but the hidden bits are not. Should probably be cleaning this from the top down, eh? I wonder if there's like the achievement was meant to be that I clean the statue first, or maybe it's cleaning the statue last. I don't know. Any of the achievements that are to do with doing something last are the most annoying to miss. <laughs> Those are the ones that it pays to research. If you want to do the achievements and only run through the levels once, make sure you check the criteria for any that it is do X last. Because otherwise, you'll have to do the whole level over again. I got lucky with the caterpillar one. I left the cocoon till last, and that turned out to be the achievement. That would have been a really annoying level to do again. I'm speaking from experience from the base game where the washroom, you have to do the pedestals last. And it is a really annoying level to do. That said, if you do accidentally clean something prematurely, you can at least wait until you have the pro washer and then come back and do it. And at least with the specials, you just get given the pro washer to do the levels with. So at least that alleviates some of the discomfort than if you were doing them fresh in the campaign and didn't have a better washer. What am I missing on the rabbit? Uh, inside leg? underneath I'm sure I've hit you with pretty much the same angles as the other guy okay par apparently not <laughs> I thought I had but it would seem not uh, we might just have to climb up onto the statue weak top of the world I am fairly sure she would chop my head off uh, for climbing all over her statue like this but tough and there is a ladder to be fair but... This is more fun. <laughs> she is throwing it back. My lord. We might just have to get the ladder. <laughs> might just be much easier. Depending on how... Oh no, there we go. I was going to say, depending on how forgiving it is. Turns out... We didn't have to worry. Don't suppose you've seen a two mile high child, have you? Okay, the King of Hearts talking to us. Uh, can't say as I have. Uh, can I put this... Oh, I can't even put it on the statue, okay. Well, can I put it up here somewhere? That's yeah, probably about that. Goes by the name of Alice. Alice, Alice, who the heff is Alice? garden path. We're edging again. Edging the garden path. Last seen in this very spot disrupting crucial legal proceedings with a sudden and distasteful growth spurt. <laughs> I hate it when that happens. Just having a normal day and then all of a sudden boom! Two miles tall. Happens to the best of us. What we should do is we should get the edging to the point that it's like 90% done and then just leave it. <laughs> Ooh, we'll do some edging with the edging. Okay, 
because it's actually an annoying spot for the ladder to be in, but we can work around it. And it just gets it out of the way, it's off the floor. It's going to be even more annoying lying down. The garden wall, I can't help but feel, is going to ding with plenty of dirt to go. No? Okay. It's just because it's such a large thing and... Yeah, there's hidden bits as well, so it would have been pretty cruel to be too demanding on that one. This one's kind of annoying because, yeah, it's hidden under the bush, some of it. At least we can stand on this bit and just power wash the roses. Just do the border now, I guess. It did feel, for how large this map is, it did feel that we got the 20% sooner than we did the Mad Hatter. So that's interesting. Maybe this one won't actually take as long as the last level, despite being paid the same. If nothing else, just because it's less fiddly. <laughs> there is some awkward bits, like the statues and stuff are a little bit awkward. These flower boxes are annoying, but they're not too awkward as such. The roses will be annoying as well. But probably not too bad. Compared to all of the teacups and spoons and stuff, all the multi-layers and the candelabra of the Mad Hatter's tea party, that's what really took our time. You're in the way. <laughs> Just run along here. Why is it putting our footprints down? We haven't been that way. Oh, those are probably the footprints from the guards or whatever. What should we clean last? That's always the question, isn't it? We want it to be something cool. Is there like a throne or something? Okay, there is. Good. That answers that question nice and easily. What am I missing on the garden wall? I thought I'd... Oh, it's a bit around the corner, isn't it? Yep, and I got the decoration at the same time. Ah, but I hadn't done that one, so that's good. Good that I happened to wash across that, because I would not have realised otherwise. Oh, the card tile is separate, so the path is broken up nicely, at least. It'd be nice if the wall was broken up more, but... We have the decorations, the path is in pieces. We'll take what we can. And the garden floor is at least broken up by the path. Good. Actually, we should probably start cleaning some of these like croquet goals and stuff or arches oh that that came up very differently didn't it it was oh, of course because they're like painted like cards but they're actually psychedelic because they're uh, 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 were they the caterpillars or something I don't know seems like his colour scheme so that's the five of hearts be nice if it actually gave the uh, numbers for us. There's the three of hearts. Wasn't it like the soldiers were the cards and they were like bending over as the croquet arches or something absurd like that? I can't remember. You never know what was actually in them movies or adaptions or anything sometimes because the whole thing could be an absolute fever dream you, you wouldn't know which was what you were watching like people sometimes talk about films and like oh it'd be funny to watch it while high or something it's like no it doesn't make much sense even when you're sober why the hell do you want to confuse yourself further <laughs> The, yeah, the mallets are all individual. So we get the 
readings from the mallets. There we go, and in the stand. Uh, do we need like a lower angle? Seems to work. <laughs> I don't know what bit was required, but it worked. Now let's do the rest of these cards, or arches anyway. Try and do them completely each time. That's the four of hearts. They're not even in order. That bothers me. It was like three and then five and now four. Come on guys. Which one's this? There's the ace. <laughs> the ace should be the first one. Surely. If you're going to use cards as your croquet arch motif, at least do them in order. Yeah, for any nefarious Queen of Hearts style role players out there <laughs> that would be a fun course like maybe not croquet because croquet is kind of a weird sort of thing but if it was a mini golf Alice in Wonderland mini golf now there's a good idea it's got to exist right there's got to be something somewhere in the world it's a surrealist garden mini golf set. Oh, good. The heart is... Oh, starting heart. Okay. Oh, okay. So if there's a starting heart, is there like a finishing spade or something? That would be uh, a little bit morbid. <laughs> That's the ace. Wait. There's two aces of hearts. Hang on. <laughs> and this is another three of hearts. This isn't a regulation deck. Wow, cheating as well. Truly, the depravity knows no bounds. Um, let's move this guy back. Oh, <laughs> I accidentally got on the ladder. What are you meant to be? You got like eyes? Oh, you meant to be like the caterpillar, perhaps. And then the pink one is maybe meant to be like the Cheshire cat? Just want to try and nudge it back onto the. Can we get back onto the starting heart? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we'll have one on the start and we'll get the other one on the finish because it's further away already. How's that? Clean underneath our ladder again. Oh, the f oh, hang on. I was about to say the floor isn't broken up underneath the arch. But it is. It is actually a separate piece. There's no seam. I'm on the ladder again. Oops. I hate it when I accidentally ladder. I have to get that from the other side because of the angle. While I'm here, we'll do the inside of this one. Because we do have the better angle. But we haven't done the outside. That's the two. Oop, there we go. There's the floor done. So there's an eight and another eight. Eight, ace three, another three, so that's three threes. I guess if you don't have a nine, then that's a multiplication joke. Anyway, <laughs> to crouch to get under here. Uh, there we go. 
Oh yeah, there's just a little sort of seam there. It'd be nice if it was more well delineated. I'd honestly prefer that it wasn't broken in two if they're not going to delineate it very well. I guess you want it to be seamless because you've got the croquet ball running across. Gotta think of these things with your design. This is all just essentially astroturf anyway, isn't it? Seven of hearts. There wasn't roses over the other side, was there? No. But there is on this side. That's weird. I was expecting it to be more symmetrical. I'll oh, maybe we'll do the roses next. There's the six of hearts. So there is the different cards. They just haven't kept track, it seems. There's the six, there's the seven, but then there's another three. And another three, so like the three is the default, it seems. But they're not even all the same shape, that's the thing. It's not like they've repeated the texture for the sake of the same shape of object. It's kind of weird from a just game design perspective. Right? Not not thinking of within the realm of the game. Well, there's the finish heart. Oh, and it's sunk in, okay, so it's it's like embedded. Right, so the idea is you got to pop the hall all the way through all the hoops. Coming two miles tall in the middle of a trial is really one of the rudest things you can do. Well, we've already established that she's rude by calling things ridiculous, so... Everyone really doesn't like Alice. I would have put her on trial herself, but the knave had stolen her tray of tarts. Okay. I can't remember any of the lore around this scenario, so that, as you know, is the absolute number one rudest thing you could do anywhere. I, I guess? <laughs> I can think of a few ruder things, but stealing of any kind is pretty rude. I will give you that. I feel a tray of tarts is probably one of the less rude things that you could steal, if you were to steal anything. <laughs> We're just watering this rose, basically, aren't we? <laughs> okay, that's the base done. The fence is also, there we go, almost done. These roses are not red. Okay. Is that a thing? Was her obsession just making everything white and red? Is that what it was? So they're actually green with white thorns though still. So many odd angles on these roses as well. I think the best thing to do is going to be get yeah, up on top of them. Okay, I was actually quite generous. That's good. Let's do a bit of jumping around. Jump around. Jump around. And then we'll do the rest from below on that one. It's going to look a bit messy, but if we do what we can from while standing on top of them, then we can probably pick up the slack from underneath. And pull it up. Okay, and we're just going to fall off anyway, so let's just stand back. Stand on one of the cards and get a little bit of an elevation. Quite a bit behind that we still need to do here. So many angles though. Little crevices and stuff. There's probably a lot that we don't need to do. Yeah, there was still something we hadn't done, but. Very, very nice roses though. Fun to have in your garden. Very colourful. Here can we get the 
psychedelic pearlescent rose variety. Uh, the stem, it's hard to tell what still needs to be done on the stem because it's just, it's like white paint. But then the roses are slightly white, there we go. That's all of them I think. Good. Once again, complain about something and it'll clean. That, that seems to be how it works. Probably just do a fast forward or something of these videos in general, just whack it all on like 10 times speed or something, just boop, 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 basically make my own time lapse. Their time lapses are a bit too short, especially for longer levels. They kind of whiz by a little bit too quickly sometimes. It'd be nice if you could adjust the speed. Choose whether or not you wanted to have a long time lapse or not. It's also annoying that. I don't think you can save them or anything, because that'd be fun. So if you're not playing this and recording it, then you just don't get that again. You have to play the level again in order to see the time lapse again. And sometimes they're quite long. That's why I'm kind of glad that I did do a full stream of most of the content, all of it for the sake for the basic washer and then the pro washer as well so I do have some footage of all of the time lapses I, I meant to string together like a super cut of all of them I think didn't I that's not too late is it <laughs> could do an anniversary one of finishing all of the, like the basic washer just, I'd have to download all of the videos again just to snip out the last bit <laughs> Or do screen capture of watching my own video, which is a bit absurd. <laughs> ah. Bit rates free for downloading, that's fine. We're not really doing a very good methodical job of these roses, are we? We're just kind of spraying and praying a lot of these. Let's try and actually finish one before moving on to the next, shall we? It's really annoying the other one is right there. Stopping me actually getting a good angle on some of this stuff. Okay, that's good. I can jump on the chaise lounge at least. The other problem though of doing a time lapse or running the video back in time lapse is one, there's my camera view, so I'd just be flipping, 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 flipping around all the time, doing all manner of bizarre things. Um, but also, some of my movements are extremely jerky, so I basically am doing a sped up time lapse as it is. Just zooming around. That rose is not yet done. Okay, I think it was the underside of the petal was the main bit that wasn't done, but ah, forgiving enough anyway. Base is done, looks like, but the fence is not. There we go. And then the stem. What's missing on the stem? Again, it's hard to tell because of the, the white paint that's been used. Do the rest of this four. But we will need to do the lounger first. Lounge chair. 
Yeah, it does look pretty comfy. Yeah, I'm gonna clean underneath it as well, do I? Yep. Go. And the rest of this bit of floor. Then we can do the path around the statue. There we go. Uh, now, can I get this out of here? Is it going to rebound? No. Okay, we've got to go from here. Good. It's, it's not stuck. <laughs> Now, let's get this over yonder. Uh, so that's, that's too much of a barrier for it to get over. Can I even get it over there again? I think we just have to get it all the way down to here, and then this bit is low enough that we can get it across. Perhaps? Ooh, it doesn't want to. Have we screwed ourselves? <laughs> there we go. Nice little hop there. And pop. One more luck. Hey, oh, such a curious croquet ground. In the Queen of Hearts court, roll the pink croquet ball onto the finishing heart. We didn't even get it. There we go. Get it properly in. We could have got the blue one next to it. I can't be bothered now, though. Cool. Well, that's a fun little achievement, isn't it? <laughs> Let's do the statue path. Actually, no, we should do this path around the garden that we've done and there's all the wall around it too that we haven't finished we, we did the wall on the other side but we haven't done it on this side how remiss of me ah also this path is all one bit okay so we'll do up to the bit on the corner that should be what breaks it up maybe yeah, there's a corner there that touches the edging, and <laughs> that's what breaks it up. Yep, good. Do the tile. Nice. Right, let's do the wall. I guess we can do the floor. The path at this point as well. But our priority should actually be the wall at this point. Uh, we've done the raised bed, good. 54%. So we're actually slightly over halfway. So that's cool. Did we get that decoration? We did. So the other side of the court, I guess, isn't as big, given that we have not fully done this half. But we're over halfway. I should have left the statue and stuff until after doing everything else because then it might have been more of a halfway mark. Never mind. <laughs> oh, we did the wall on the other side all the way up to the throne dais as well, so that's on me. Oh, this wall's going to keep going all the way around. That's right. That's what we found on the other side is we wanted to do the wall. But we found that it went all the way around. Okay. Let's just finish off this path section here first. Before we get too far away. Oh, we did one of the edgings. I was going to leave the edging till last. For poetic reasons. That's alright. finish this wall and then work on the insides of this half of the garden. Should be able to get this all done before I need to take another break. 
And then we'll figure out what else we're going to do with this time. I mean, I could only stream for as long as it takes for me to finish this. But I would rather get on and do something else. I just don't know what that's going to be. <laughs> I'm happy to take suggestions. Not that I own every game that people might want me to play, but... And I did think it, yep, got that decoration as well. Good. Alright, let's work back up the path. How much more is there to do with this path anyway? About that much. Alright. And then we can work our way around the statue and do this path. There's a bit of a subtle seam there with the mosaic. Cool mosaic, how it just kind of swirls around. But that's good, that's the statue part done. Ah, 6%. Nevertheless, when someone grows to a prodigious size in the middle of a trial, it's extremely important that you exert your authority. Is it though? Okay, I guess. I don't know, don't have that much pride. Even your Imperial Guard are, in essence, a set of gossamer thin playing cards. <laughs> yeah, you might want to do something about that. Imperial Guards. Also, is it Imperial when you're not an Emperor? Royal Guards, I think you'll find. You supply the handcuffs while which you've distracted by a quality sleight of hand trick. Royal Guards, it's a king and a queen. Imperial Guards, as if it was an emperor and an empress. Just saying. Do we submit that as feedback to the to the game devs? Uh, actually. <laughs> I mean, I feel they probably should have someone proofread their stuff, but, you know, whatever. Happy to do it. <laughs> I'd love to be a playtester for a game like this. But I don't think I'd be a very good playtester. Because all I'd do is just play the game and enjoy the game. And I don't know what you'd really get out of that. <laughs> what findings would there be? It's like, yep, good game. <laughs> but at the same time... I am pretty nitpicky sometimes, so... <laughs> it would at least have good spelling and grammar. Okay, that gave me the ding very freely. And here's the king statue. Which one's that? That's another rook. Okay. There's four rooks. You don't don't have. I mean, they had three threes of hearts. I shouldn't complain about having four rooks. <laughs> Surely at the entrance it should have been pawns. You have the pawns and the bishops, and then the knights at the bottom. And then over on this side you have the. Rooks and the king and the queen. Never mind. Railing still not done. It's the wall. What am I missing on the railing? Some other lower angle? Apparently. And the court wall. really annoying banners that I'm going to presumably have to clean behind as well. I guess I can stand on them. That's all just the wall. I thought that would be like the corner post. Nope. Just all part of the wall. Oh, even the decorations aren't separate. It's all just wall. Alright. Mildly disappointing, but okay. I'm just going to do the 
hop. Wink. Just half hidden by the hedge. Yeah, there we go. Now, how much do we have to do behind these? I, I mean, I can't get behind this one. Yeah, I was going to say, it's, it's got to be pretty forgiving. I couldn't even spray in behind it. This one I can. At least partially. Do it from this side. Okay, it was still very forgiving. That's good. <laughs> that would be very annoying if they weren't pretty forgiving. I was thinking this bit of floor might be its oh, <laughs> that's a bit of wall. Um, I thought that might be its own bit of floor, but it's not. Alright, doors. Wonky doors. Uh, the door hinges are separate, yes. They don't even look like hinges. Yeah, they, they just look like embossments. They don't even look like hinges. Fairly sure that with a hinge there and a hinge there, there's no way that this thing could open. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> um, yeah, we're going to leave the throne till last. We can do the king's chair. I wouldn't call that a throne. <laughs> Normally when you have a queen who's the one actually in charge, then it'll be a, like, prince consort or something instead of king. Room curtain heart. Is this where I'm meant to use the ladder to get up to the top of? Because otherwise that seems very difficult to reach. It's actually going to be hard to do everything else without moving the throne. Maybe I should just leave the heart on top of the gun mask instead. Especially if I'm going to have to use a ladder to get up to it. And the, there we go, the handle. Good. And this other tiny piece of wall. And now this big curly piece. The bits that look separate but aren't. And then maybe we just get up onto this... If it'll let me... Nope, it won't let me stand on that bit. Okay, never mind then. That's annoying. It's, it's too thin for me to stand on here apparently. I could stand on the one on the other side. What about over here? Nope, not allowed to stand on that one. Well, that's rude. Can I stand on the rook? Maybe if I get a better angle. Boing. Kind of. Well enough for my purposes, hopefully. But yeah, I wasn't allowed to stand on it further along, which is kind of annoying. Right, we'll try and do the banners just from one side. And see if that gives it to me. Should, if it's not going to let me get in behind it easily. If they were just here, instead of on the bit at the back, they should be just inside. I think that would be better. Then you could have both sides. Yeah, okay, so they're pretty forgiving anyway. Didn't have to do anything behind. Cool. Now, we'll do this bit of floor, even though it's not separate. But we'll follow this down to the front. Especially since there's the embossed bit, kind of the trim running down the middle, that yeah, you'd think would be separate, but it's not. It looks like a divider. It's all one floor though. 
Uh, the Rook statue is done. Good. And here's the Queen statue. It's weird that it's all the, like, chess motif or theme, but there isn't actually a chessboard on the grounds in the court. There's the croquet field instead of a chessboard. Kind of weird. I guess maybe that's outside. Reminds me of there's a Pokemon that has that sort of shape to it at the top. <laughs> Can't remember its name right now. <laughs> Used to get a lot of them in Pokemon Go. Some weird stuttering. The recording's alright. So still haven't actually upped. Oh, that, that's why I haven't actually cleaned this yet, because it's filthy on the side. I've actually done the front yet. There we go. Let's do this wall and stuff. I should finish off the rest of the court foreground before I move back up onto the dais again. We've done all of the wall areas. Last bit of wall. Good. Right, we should do these decorations. So, rabbit ornaments. This looks like a peacock. It's like a cross between a rabbit and a peacock. That's a weird genetic engineering exercise that I hadn't considered. Oh, each card is separate, though. Oh, well, now that changes everything. <laughs> I love this ornament. <laughs> yeah, yeah, well done. Give them a power B day. Do not try this at home. Uh, do I do the floor around here now, or the other ornament? I think maybe I'll just do the other ornament first. Work our way from this side to make sure that we're getting the leading edge of all of the cards. And then behind, again, wash behind the ears. Very important. Apparently. Anyone else have that when you're growing up? Does that make sure you wash behind your ears? Does, that, does it really that matter? Matter that much? I mean, yeah, you, you do want to, but it's a weird thing to obsess over. Anyway. And then we want to clean them the opposite way from behind. more roses to do. They're a little bit more compact than the ones on the other side, at least. Nope. 80%. No sooner had my soldier cards hitched a ride onto Alice than their entire countenance changed. To a man, they clambered onto her shoulders, blew the most outrageous raspberries down upon me, and directed her off into the distance. Well, you know, maybe you needed better workforce management, but it's just... <laughs> what thought I led to this instantaneous and treacherous about turn? Probably pay and conditions, that's usually the problem.
then it dawned on me. Let me guess, something completely missing the point? I had forgotten to remove the jokers. Hey. Okay. Yeah, well, I guess that's a, a metaphor for one school of workplace management, isn't it? <laughs> Make sure no one's having any fun. Then they won't try and leave and go anywhere else. Almost worked at my last place. <laughs> Every workplace needs some jokers. They won't be mutinous so long as you keep them happy. Ooh, we have blackthorns on here. I'm surprised they're not black roses. Just the Queen of Hearts going through her goth phase. would have been cool if it was, and maybe it is in the original story, I don't know, but it would have been cool if it was like fleshed out as like the queen of the other suits, or the queen of clubs be like a real battle axe. Just had like arms tournaments. Queen of spades would definitely be the goth faction. And you could add the Ace of Spades. That would be your champion, of course. Oh, we can stand on this bit of wall. But we couldn't stand on the one up there. Gives us a bit of an up onto the roses. There we go. And it's the steam that's honestly the worst part to clean. Just can't tell. There we go. What was still needing to be done. Alright, this rose shouldn't take too much more once we get spraying on the inside. Yep, there we go. Got it on the way down. Oh, and there's the base done as well. Good. That's this half complete, I believe. On to the next. same thing just jump up on top the ones that are closed are easier to clean at least get what I can of the steam from up here clean what I can of the angles on the insides of the opened blooms alright, should probably be able to do the rest from the ground now one first. There we go. <laughs> okay, once we get in behind these, actually that one we can probably clean from the top of the platform as well. We get a better angle looking inside it if we need it. Stem it's mostly angles around the base now I think. Same with the, the base itself. Different angles from the different sides of it. Go. Base must be almost done. Ah, there we go. 
Nice. Okay, now just the floor and the path, and then we are on the home streets. Good. Oh, there's even a little wrinkle in the carpet. There's even dirt underneath it that counts towards the path. That's a nice touch. <laughs> Like, it's annoying, but it is a nice touch. I appreciate that. Good, and now the stairs that don't have the carpet on. Good. And the red carpet. I assume goes yeah all the way along anyway so can't just finish it that easily it's not broken up into segments for the stairs there's the accused stand or pulpit It is still done. Uh, what's still there to do with the stand? Oh, the front, okay. <laughs> done the, the sides, behind, the top, and done the front. Okay. Oh, there's the giant boot prints. Brilliant. It's actually quite tenacious white paint and grime. It's actually, yeah, pretty stuck on there. We're a little bit slower. Oh, the floor is broken up on either side of the carpet. Ah. And then there's the dominoes leading up to the dais, that's right. Working in all manner of games. Yep. Now each one of these is going to ding individually, but I'm going to have to shoot him behind, I suspect. box flap is apparently not finished yet. Ah, there we go. Inside edge. Oh, there's the floor done. There's the bit that I was standing on anyway. Cool, I think that's all the dominoes. Nope, not quite. This one here. There we go. Pop, 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 pop. Good. Finish the red carpet before I get much further. Evidence table. It's like a poker chip. <laughs> Good. Uh, table still not done, presumably angle on the legs or something. Yeah. Alright, this whole 
floor half has to be done still as well. Then there's the thrown game box we're going to do on the other side. Ah, I've got to do the dominoes on this side as well. I forgot that it was double sided. Game box. Can't be too much more to do on that. Domino's box, I've got to do the whole top. I would have called it the throne platform myself instead of calling it out for what it is, but whatever. Ding, ding, ding. Good. Good. And ding. Right, throne game box. There can't be much more left to do with this, surely? What am I missing? Is there a bit on the other side, perhaps, that I haven't done? A bit behind the latch that needs to be complete? Ah, little corner. Alright. Uh, so I think now the floor would be the next best thing to do. We're just working our way up onto stage, essentially, as it were. I think the throne still needs to be finished, I guess, underneath, perhaps? No? Can't get in behind it. What is there still to do on that? Oh no, the King's Throne's done. I'm, I'm seeing the throne curtain and still stuff that needs to be done on that and getting confused. Okay. That's fine then. We may as well just do the Domino's box while I'm standing on it anyway. Then there's the playing card deck, is the next pedestal. Cool. Right, let's do this floor before we move on. And then I think we do the throne and we leave the bit on top to do last, perhaps. We'll yoink the ladder all the way from the other side of the map. Slap that down. Come on. <laughs> Just little bits. Uh, I didn't do the the side of this raised bit very well. There we go. Cool. Court floor done. So what bits have we got left to do? There's the throne curtain, the throne itself, the playing card box, and then the heart on top. Let's just do the throne now. And at some point doing these, we should expect to get a checklist popping up. I know that there's a couple of bits that I haven't done yet. But there should be too much more. Such an awkward throne shape. I get really bad scoliosis sitting on this. Yeah, that's why she's in such a bad mood. It's a better chair and a chiropractor. So I know I get cranky when I'm just in pain. <laughs> Funnily enough, it's not very comfortable. Alright, now what am I missing? Underneath? Underneath. There we go. Good. We still don't have a checklist. That's concerning. Um... <laughs> I, I thought that I'd have one by now. I don't know what there is. There's the curtain, but I don't know how much more of the curtain there is still to be done. The curtain rail is not separate. I know there's a bit behind the king's chair, but that's done. So, and the queen's chair is like flush with it. So that's kind of confusing. I don't even see anything when I tab. Ah, oh, the bottom hem. 
That's tricky. Okay. Gonna get right down the bottom. Okay, that helped for a little bit, but not all of it. It's gotta be more. I'm not seeing anything. Okay, well, let's check our checklist anyway. Caught door handles. Alright. That's easy enough. Floor edging. We knew about that one. Giant roses. Two roses we have actually missed. That's annoying. Throne curtain we know about, but we still can't find where it is. So, door handle. There we go. Which giant roses are not done? Oh, okay. I knew about this one because I did leave it to do from the upper platform. One of these ones not done. So there's four per plant. Oh, just a little one down the bottom here. Ah. I used it as a stepping stone and then completely forgot to actually clean it. <laughs> Oops. There we go. Right. Garden edging. Uh, it's this side. Actually, there's two that are apparently not done, but I knew about this one. So I thought it would be funny to leave the edging to be done right before we finish. There we go. Now, curtain and heart. Now, first of all, ladder. We can put the ladder up here. Oh, okay. This is the curtain as well. There we are. That explains it. And the heart. Can we jump off the top? Yeah, there we go. Can we remove the ladder? I would like to stand again, please. Can I target the ladder? It's not letting me target the ladder. That's annoying. I want to just get rid of it and just throw it over the other end or something because I thought that would be funny. Never mind. We're there. Good view from up here. Who stole the heart? Zoom, 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 zoom. Job well done. There we go. Oh my, oh my, that's quite the transformation. I'm sure the queen won't completely hate it, although on second thoughts, based on the colour of her cheeks as she stormed off and the colour of those roses now, maybe not. I don't suppose it had crossed her mind that her adorable red roses were painted on. Discretion is often the better half of valour, so I'd scarper sharpish before they abandoned their ridiculous hunt for Alice. Hurry, 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 back up the rabbit hole for you, my friend. Ah, brilliant. And we are done. Completed level complete all of these unfortunately now to redo them you have to like restart the whole campaign again but i don't think we need to redo them we'll jump into free play to get the achievements uh we're missing two achievements i guess i could get them right now free play so there's the entrance hall uh yep that's fine i don't think i had any other free play jobs in progress and if i did i had forgotten about them so it doesn't matter <laughs> Now, apparently this, you just have to put that there and then try and escape. Yep, up a ladder. I really must be getting home. So that's at least one you can do straight out the gate without worrying about anything else. And then the white rabbit's house. This one might be tricky. We're going to have to be a bit more like pinpoint with this. Uh, because we need to clean the clocks first, apparently. So first, let's just get the ladder out of the way. But there's a lot of other things nearby, including the wall itself. But we need to be careful. Why do I have the crappy washer? Huh, okay, so free play, you take your own gear in instead of what's given to you. Interesting. Oh, well, that's, that's fine, to be honest. We'll use the donut pink <laughs> skin of the, the heavy duty, because I think that's pretty appropriate. That is... Oh, that's a clock painting. We should be careful only to do clocks and not a clock painting. Because the clock painting might not count. We have to be careful when we're jumping around as well. Now, hopefully it is literally the clocks that we clean first and not the clock wall that we clean first. 
Another big clock. That's definitely a clock. That's definitely a clock. So we just need to make sure that we get clocks and no, like, paintings or anything else masquerading as a clock. Good. Oh, <laughs> we found the ladder. Clock. is a very large clock. There we go. Oh my ears and whiskers. Complete all the clocks on the clock wall first. And yeah, be careful of the painting. The painting is not a clock. If you if we did that, we wouldn't have got the achievement. So there we go. Alright, I think that puts us at a hundred percent achievements for the game again. Yes, 80 out of 80. Perfect. That will do for that. Until next DLC, which who knows when it, that will be or what it will be. So I really wish the hope that they might do like a cyberpunk themed one. I feel that would work in quite well. You could like clean the car, clean the apartment. I'm sure there's a bunch of other stuff that you could clean that relates to that game. I still want there to be like a crossover between this and Truck Simulator just to really just cross the streams of my stream. Because I'm sure they'll definitely do that. Well, until next DLC, that'll do for Power Wash Simulator. Thank you very much for watching.